Mommy, you've lost weight. <laughs> Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? How are we? For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, my name is Fumi De Salovold. You are so very welcome to our humble abode. And it is all about what? Positivity, womanhood, aging gracefully, fashion, style, and how-tos. And that's exactly what this episode is all about. I cannot begin to tell you how many of you have said, for me, how do you walk in high heels? For me, how do you get fabulous in high heels? And I said, oh, my baby sister, I'm going to show you a couple of things. One of them being this. As a matter of fact, I have a couple of shoes because we're going to go upstairs and I'm going to walk in them for you. But I'm going to bring them so that I can talk about them first before we walk. So while I'm getting the shoes, you get yours, okay? <laughs> okay we've got some heels up in here we've got a pair of pointed toes i know how that can be very challenging and then we've got a pair of slim bags let me just show you some skinny sling bags we got those and then we have a pair of mules yeah all right the first thing i'm gonna say to my 50 year old sisters so many of you ankle knee i understand and i'm so 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 very very sorry i have a couple of friends too that have knee and ankle issues for my plus size sisters a lot of you said that you had wider feet i have wide feet <laughs> i do and flat <laughs> <laughs> I got flat feet. So I understand the challenges. And for me, what I'll tell you, of course, you have to go with a white shoe. You have to. But the first thing I will say is go onto your tippy toes. For me, you know what? Let me put these down here. Go onto your tippy toes. Just try and find your comfort level on your tippy toes. We'll do this also upstairs. How do you feel when you go onto your tippy toes? All right. Because that is in essence how you're going to wear the heels. Yeah. The second thing. You got to know your comfort zone with these heels. And that is a direct reflection on your weight. It, it really is because you are carrying your weight on those pins. Then the next thing that I have found when I was bigger, uh, 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 I couldn't wear those heels. I just could not. So once you've tried that where you're on your tippy toes, that will let you know how you kind of feel in heels. It will know your comfort level in heels. Very important your heels have to be padded. You have to have that padding for the entire foot. I told you I've got flat feet and for the ball of your foot. If you can get extra padding, you're going, in fact, I have padding in all of my shoes, in my sneakers, in my kitten heels, I have it padded because I've got flat feet and it hurts. Yes, it does. But I definitely have it in the ball of my shoe. Yeah. All right. Then as a matter of fact, let me bring out my Louboutins because I want to show you also because you need a grip. I don't need it so much now because I'm used to heels, but you need a grip. This has a grip. Can you hear it? It has that grading effect because it has to grab onto the ground you also have to have good solid stompers on the bottom of your heel you have to have that i have that in all of my shoes you want to know how to walk in heels you need to be prepped first in how to walk in your heels my shoes again padded the ball of your feet the ball of your foot and that's here <laughs> Okay, can you see the ball of your foot right there? Yes, it hurts. Let me just show you here. 
the ball of your foot right there. You see how flexible I am? <laughs> the ball of your foot right there. Ball of your foot. You have to make sure that it is protected because in essence, that is where your weight sits. When I said go up onto your tippy toes, you're actually going onto the balls of your feet. Now, let me also show you where you have extra padding and that's usually like a rubber stamp right here. And that makes the heel comfortable and it also gives you grip to also walk in let me give you an example my beautiful 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 father-in-law when i came to norway i came in winter and he's like oh for me you're going to need grips you're going to need grips for the bottom of your boots so that when you walk in the snow you don't slide that same effect is what you're going to need when you're wearing high heels for those of you that are starting off because it's a matter of just being like a baby you're just trying to steady your legs once you steady your legs you're gonna be good so let me show you this other pair that i have from louboutin okay like i was saying if you can see you can see that i got the rubber bottoms darlings because these heels are everything and they're pointed and i needed the extra grip it's the same thing with these if you see here there you go they are relatively the same in height i got these from um where did i get these oh celeb boutique i got these from celeb boutique and then i got these from louboutin but the point being is that I got these bottoms. I have found a fantastic cobbler and he's in Harrods. He's on the fifth floor just by Prada. Prada Chanel and Valentino. I think YSL and Valentino are right by them, but it's right in that area. And you will see Valentino on your right hand side. The cobbler is right there. Are they expensive? Yes, but they are good. They are very, very good. So that is what you need. Mama said what? You're going to need padding in your shoes. You need padding in all of your high heels because they're already high. It's already a challenge right there. You need to make sure that you are comfortable in the shoes. So what do I tell you? I'll tell you right now. I'm a size 41 and I wear a 10. Yeah, I wear a 10 in pointed shoes. Dare I say I can even go to a 42 or to an 11 in pointed shoes. I need the room for shoes, pointed high heels, go a size bigger. The irony is that when I'm wearing sling bags like this, I can do a nine and a half. These are by Akua Zara. Yes, Ula bought me these in Cali. I love these. Nine and a half, nine even not a problem i can do that and then i think this also true to size because this is a mule i'm just showing you the different heels and this works for me as well so guys when it comes to pointed heels make sure that it is padded on the inside and the ball of the foot you got extra padding at the bottom and you go an extra size when it goes just to a sling to an open toe you can go even smaller make sure that you got padding ball of the foot if it is a mule ball of the foot all of them have ball of the foot and they have to have a grip at the bottom you need all of that and then you can go true to size the only one that you really need to make sure is bigger and not too big that's another thing because i see some of you it's gaping right here no no <laughs> absolutely not no 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 because then it's like you being like a little girl again and you're wearing your mama's shoes you have to have grip you have to have grip. You, the shoe has to be solid on your foot unless you fall. All right, my darlings. So we're going to go upstairs now and I'm going to show you, demonstrate how to walk in what? How to walk in high heels. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit, my darlings. Let's have fun. So grab your heels. Let's go. Mwah. <laughs> so we're upstairs on the rooftop and I have the first pair. These are mules. All right. So, like I said, we've tried the balls of our feet. You have to understand that this actually is a technique that you get used to and then it becomes like second nature. I'm going to put them on now and I put one foot in one and I make sure, that's what I always do, I stamp my foot down 
so that I have good footing and good positioning and I feel confident. Let me turn around so you can see and I make sure that I have support more than anything at the ball of my foot. That's where I'm going to get support. Some girls, they, while they walk like this and they're steady because their knees are not steady and the heel of the shoe is not steady. The heel of the shoe has to be steady. And again, like I told you, you have to have grip. Once you have grip onto the bottom of your shoes and you've got a cushion in the ball of your foot, the heel becomes like glue. It doesn't move. It doesn't move. Now you are in control. So let us walk, my darlings, okay? So I'm gonna turn it around so that you can see. Mama is comfortable doing my thing and I'm going to walk, okay? Walk with me, my darling. There we go. So what? You have heel and down. Heel and down. Heel and down. Heel and down. That's the clickety sound. What's the clickety sound? It is heel and foot. Heel foot. Heel foot. Heel foot. Heel foot. Heel foot. Heel foot. Small baby steps before you begin to take those big confident steps. Why? Because you need to make sure that you've got yourself steady on the heel. Okay? Again, make sure that the heel is not wobbly. Make sure that you are comfortable with this height. Then you can go higher and higher. But if you are comfortable with this height, then you keep that. What is this? This I think is four inches, I love. I love a four inch heel, don't you girls? And I can do three, I can do two, but you need to make sure that you've got your grip. <laughs> so let us go on to the next heel. And that's an open toe, but it's got like a sling in the back, okay? So you have less support in front, but you've got a sling back in the back, okay? Make sure the heels are straight. Make sure you feel comfortable in the shoe, in the heel. Make sure that the ball of your foot is in the ball in the shoe. And you've got that sponge. That sponge kind of glues your foot to the heel. And that makes it really comfortable for you. Make sure again that the sling back is all the way up onto the heel and it's not too tight and it's not too loose either. It has to be just right. Make sure that the shoe is your shoe size. It's not too big at all because once it's big, then it becomes slippery slopes, okay? Let's walk. And what did mama tell you? It is a heel foot, heel foot. So we're gonna go small baby steps, okay? Heel foot, heel foot, heel foot, heel foot, heel foot, heel foot. If you're not too sure, put your legs apart and just stand for a little bit. You must do this in stores when you're buying shoes because if you can't wear it in the store, you can't wear them outside. Go, 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 go. Heel foot, heel foot. Put one in front of the other. That will give you balance, okay? You cannot walk like this. This is not a look in any place at any wedding or event. <laughs> You cannot walk. It's not going to work. You want to have a seat. You're like, oh my God, let me take a seat. And then you sit like this. That's not working. At any place, when you sit down, make sure you clear your bottom. Okay? That means that if you have wedges in your panty like this, it's not working, ladies. This is not a look. I've seen it. Not a look. Spread all of those out of your cheeks. Okay? Pan it if you must and then take your skirt together just in case and from there now you fold your legs okay and this is what you should look like when you're wearing high heels my darlings do we live do we love i live <laughs> i love this is what you should look like you can also put your heels to the side your legs to the side your knees to the side and then you can also fold fold your left your left leg 
under behind your right and you can sit like that too if it's too much for you to fold your knee for those of you that have knee challenges I completely understand when you are getting up you unfold and you lift your bottom up first you don't just get up like this hey! <laughs> That is not a what, that is not a look for me nation. So when you want to get up, you put your hands to the chair, not the table because you, the table just might flip and they think that you're ready for a fight. No, you do it to the chair. You get up and you adjust your lady parts if you need be, okay? Smooth yourself out. You see, look at the button has opened. These are things you stand there for a minute and you sort yourself out confidence must be restored and then we go for our walk to the powder room to wherever you make sure that you walk little baby steps and you go to where you are going looking fabulous you have to be comfortable in heels so find that comfort zone for you when it comes to height and when it comes to the style of the shoe Okay, my darlings. All right, let's do the last one, which is the most challenging for a lot of us. It's that pointed toe heel, where it gives you minimum room. Are we living? Are we loving, darlings? <laughs> Mama's here. Okay, so here we have the last pair of heels, which is always the most difficult. And that's the pointed toe. This one is a fabulous looking heel. But as you can see, it's the most challenging because it's that pointed toe. So it squeezes your toes in front. But honey, when I tell you, you look fabulous. There we go. And that is your heel. Make sure that these ones are a bit bigger because you need room in front. For those of you that got wide feet, I've got wide feet too. So you've got to check because some shoes are kind of wide. And if you go on a bigger size, it works. So this is what it should look like. Now, very important, guys, the back here has to be really close to your heel. If it is loose, you're going to fall. You're going to be all over the place. If the heel bends to the side, you're going to break your ankle. Throw those shoes out. It has to be steady. So you really have to go for good quality heels. I love these ones because it's skin. Full skin as a matter of fact. Not the real deal. But I love a white pointed too. So you make sure that the ball of your feet is cushioned. The bottom of the heel also has a solid grip. It is solid in the back of your heel. And you are good to go. Let us take what? Let us take baby steps. And go on through honey. There we go. One in front of the other. Okay. One in front of what? The other. So let us start. One, two, three, four, five. Baby steps. Baby steps until you are comfortable. Once you are comfortable, then you can make bigger steps. You make sure that you walk with the heel and the ball of your foot. Let's do that again. And, I'll, and I'm going to walk normally so that you can see. Okay. There you go that's what it is okay my darlings <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed this episode you guys let me know what you think and there are heels also that have like a wider heel i mean abudi i think i've forgotten the designer she has high heels and then the heel is spread out which is much more comfortable but again try within your comfort and safety zone you don't want to sprain your ankles you don't want to sprain your knees and it's not that serious i also have an episode where you can wear kitten heels for those of you that say ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, this is a no no for me okay but i'm giving you everything for those of you that do want to know how to walk in high heels all right my darlings i gotta go i'll see you later
you enjoyed the class my darlings don't forget to leave all of your comments down below don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe and of course do not forget to what hit that notification button all right my darlings i will see you very soon and please send me pictures of you guys in high heels in your favorite shoes and whatever you need you just let who you just let mama know okay all of my love darlings mwah <laughs> bye